good morning dear friends i am dr sachin r gengze professor and head department of electronics engineering at <coughs> walchand institute of technology sholapur in today's session we are going to have look at some more dc characteristics of operational amplifier the learning outcome of today's session are after completing this session student will able to explain important dc characteristic of practical operational amplifier the content are of course some of the important dc characteristics of operational amplifier as we know operational amplifier is a directly coupled high gain amplifier it is available as a single ic or integrated circuit it's a versatile device and can be used for both ac and dc signals and some of the applications of op amp include mathematical operations like addition subtraction multiplication and integration on analog signal we can design different applications like oscillator active filter comparator voltage regulator using op amp also we already discussed about the characteristics of an ideal op amp which include it has infinite input resistance that is ri is equal to infinity has a zero output resistance r0 is equal to zero infinite open loop voltage gain a is equal to infinity infinite bandwidth that is bandwidth is infinity and there is no any phase shift between output and input signal and the op amp ideal op amp has a zero offset voltage however as we know there is no any ideal device exist and we have what is called as a practical op amp although we assume that an ideal op amp do not take any current from the source and its response is independent of temperature as far as the practical op amp is concerned there are three things that are happening first a practical op amp takes current from its source then the two inputs which are nothing but non inverting and inverting input of op amp they respond differently to voltage and current due to mismatch of the two transistors at the input stage as we know at the very first stage of the op amp is a differential amplifier which consists of two transistor and these because of these two transistor are different two input respond differently to voltage and current and most importantly the operation of the op amp is dependent on the temperature then we'll understand few of the important characteristic of an op amp the first one is called as an input resistance input resistance is nothing but a differential input resistance or input resistance ri it's that equivalent resistance that can be measured at either inverting terminal or or non inverting terminal with the other terminal connected to the ground and an ideal op amp has an input resistance of infinity however a practical op amp do not have an input resistance of infinity but the it is of very high value for example the op amp 741c has an ri of 2 mega ohm uh, there is another op amp for example mu af 771 which is, which is a fat based op amp and ri of that is of is is a very huge of the order of 1000 giga ohm the second important dc characteristics of op amp is called as an input capacitance input capacitance ci is the equivalent capacitance that can be measured at either inverting or non inverting terminal of the op amp and other terminal at that time is connected to the ground the 741c has an input capacitance a very small input capacitance of 1.4 picofarad the next the next parameter is called as an offset voltage adjustment range now if we look at the 741c op amp in between of the pin 1 and 5 we are connecting a variable port of value 10 kilo ohm and the variable arm of that is connected to pin number 4 uh, uh, is connected to pin number 4 which is nothing but the minus vee usually which is of minus 15 volt now 
this part as we know we can adjust this part in order to make the output offset voltage equal to zero if you remember output offset voltage is nothing but the small output voltage which is present at the output of the op amp when both its inverting and non inverting terminal are connected to zero so how to make this output offset voltage is simply we have to connect the inverting and non inverting terminal to input to zero and then we have to adjust this part until the output offset voltage becomes zero so what is an output or what is an offset voltage adjustment range the offset voltage adjustment range can be defined yes you can see over here op amp 741 has a pin 1 and 5 as a offset null by varying a port connected between 1 and 5 the output offset voltage can be reduced zero reduced to zero the output offset voltage adjustment range is the range through which the input offset voltage can be adjusted by varying this 10 kilo ohm port and uh, 4741c this range is of plus or minus 15 millivolts so by varying this voltage between plus or minus 15 volt it is guaranteed that the output offset voltage of 741c becomes zero some of the op amp do not have this facility of connecting a port between pin number 1 and 5 they do not have this uh, uh, offset null pins like we have for 741 in that case we have to design an external circuit to reduce the output offset voltage equals to zero uh, here you can pause the video for a while and answer this question how output offset voltage can affect the performance of the op amp is it desirable to have an output offset voltage or it is undesirable to have if it is undesirable how it is going to affect the performance is it an important parameter or can we neglect it for some of the application and if there is an output offset voltage how we can reduce it to zero how we can get rid of it so that's a question you have to answer for pausing the video for some time i think you are now ready with the answer okay then we'll move to the next parameter which is called as an input voltage range now input voltage range actually specify how much maximum input voltage we can apply to the operational amplifier as we know the input to the operational amplifier is given at inverting and non inverting terminal so we also know that when the same voltage is applied to inverting and non inverting terminal it is called as the common mode voltage so input voltage range is a common mode voltage that is the same voltage which we are applying to in inverting and non inverting terminal of the op amp that can be applied without disturbing the performance of the op amp or without damaging the uh, op amp how much of this voltage we can apply to inverting and non inverting terminal as a common mode voltage and for 741c this range is between of plus and minus 13 volt so that is another important parameter of op amp the next parameter is called as the common mode rejection ratio or cmrr it is defined as the ratio of differential voltage gain ad to the common mode voltage gain acm so cmrr is nothing but a ratio of common differential voltage gain to the common mode voltage gain as we know this ad is a large signal gain or is also called as a differential gain and acm is a common signal gain which can be calculated as vocm divided by vcm where vcm is an input a common mode voltage input to the op amp and vocm is the common mode output uh, or rather it's an output when i'm connecting the common mode input to the op amp what are the values let us have a look at the typical values of the cmrr uh, generally acm is a very small and we know that acm is a very small common op amp is designed to reject the common mode voltages and amplify the differential voltages that's why acm is very small and ad is very large so cmrr for 741c is 90 db and that for precision 741c is of 120 db it means that the precision 7714c op amp has a better ability to reject the common mode signal uh, like electrical noise and uh, perform better in an noisy environment because it this it has a, it, it has a better cmr so it has a better ability to reject the common mode signal and to amplify the differential signal the last parameter of an op amp that we'd like to have a look at is called as the supply voltage rejection ratio which is also called as 
some of the literature is referring this also as power supply rejection ratio or power supply sensitivity. Now we have two formulae for SVRR. If we are yeah, defining SVRR in case of absolute values, then SVRR is equal to delta VIO divided by delta V, where delta V is a change in the supply voltage and delta VIO is a change is, is, is the change in the op amps input offset voltage. So when we are changing the supply voltage, the input offset voltage is also changing and that change is captured as an SVRR. If we are some of the books or some of the literature, some of the data manuals, they are representing SVRR in terms of dB and when we are uh, representing in terms of dB, the formula becomes 20 to the 20 log of delta V divided by delta VIO where delta V is the change in the supply voltage and delta VIO is the change because of when I am changing the delta, whatever there is a change in an input offset voltage that is being represented by delta VIO. So that is what is called as an supply voltage rejection ratio. For uh, 741C SVRR is 150 micro hold per hold and for 741C it is 6714C precision of amp it is of 6.31 micro hold per hold. So with that we come to the end of today's session. Uh, I am leaving you with uh, two question. First, you have to explain what are the different DC characteristics of op amp and secondly, how they govern the choice of op amp out of many available. We know that there are many op amps available and for a particular application, how we are going to select op amp out of these available op amp. A reference for this are again the two books which we are using. Uh, one is by Gaikwad, Ramakan Gaikwad and second one is by Roy Chaudhary and Shail Chai. Thank you very much dear student for patient listening.